Hey everybody! <laughs> we have not given you an update on the renovations for our Methodist Church project that we purchased in 2017. It is now 2020 and so we thought we would give you a quick tour and show you what we've done in the last um, four, is this our fourth summer, Jimmy? Yeah. Yeah, fourth summer. That We're just starting our fourth summer right now, so we've had three complete summers. And I'll just give you a quick rundown. The first summer was, <laughs> uh, Jimmy spent the entire summer just simply making this space livable, which we're going to show you in a minute, and also replacing the roof, which was a bear because of all the points and peaks and valleys and all that stuff, whatever you call it. The second year, he basically did the loft, the floors, did, was it the floors? Did you do the loft the second year? Second year was the, yeah, I roughed in the loft and uh, tore the floors up. Right, and then last year you did like the kitchen. Basically all the kitchen. The kitchen, okay. So we're gonna hey show you Hey guys, my original of video of this portion got lost, so I'm having to remake it so that I can post this for you. So this is the part of the classroom that um, we renovated into a living space. So let me get the camera turned around okay. and I'll show it so to you. So you can see here where these lines are. These used to be walls and this was a hallway that went into the um, sanctuary. So this was an office or a classroom. I think it was the pastor's office and this is where the door was. And there was another one over here. And you can see here, there was another doorway, an, an office or a classroom, and then there's one here. So this area used to, have, used to be four classrooms or offices for the church. And Jimmy took out uh, the brick wall here, put up some extra supports, and put in the double garage door opener. This is now the garage and um, his workshop, he has um, since expanded into the basement uh, for the large woodworking um, things. And this, he put this door in here to separate our living space from the garage. So it kind of keeps, helps keep the dust and noise down and whatnot. So over here we have three rooms that we're living out of. Um, this is my craft room and my office for work, and it's honestly really kind of messy right now. Um, this hallway and this room is for our bedroom. And then go down here, and this is our little living room, kind of quaint. And we have our table, our makeshift pantry, and our kitchen. Now there is no running water in this room, but we do have this stove and the coffee pots and the refrigerator okay so and he put the dishwasher in this room which is the we call it the furnace room because it's the furnace and the hot water heater so the dishwasher is there it was easy to tie into the additional or the existing plumbing and the drain and we have extra storage here for kitchen stuff and then this used to be the ladies bathroom and so what we've done here is he took out the toilet and he's using the drain for um, the shower so that worked really well plus the water supply and then he took out the normal bathroom sink and this is uh, a industrial kitchen sink and then this room um, was the old men's bathroom nothing has changed um, it's still the same so that is our living quarters and so now on to sanctuary. the sanctuary uh, the basement is hasn't changed much that is I've made it into a shop and I'm storing the wood that I've taken out of the sanctuary that I'm reusing and uh, what else Pretty much got said down there. Yeah, it's it's more it it's a storage area, and you've been you just kind of work down there to stage, and so um, there's no reason to show yeah. that one. So. All right. 
this is part of the floor that was pulled up. I pulled up all of the floor and um, underneath it was um, basically a, a secondary set of joists that made the, uh, that made the floor um, like an angle for like stadium seating for the, for the, um, for the pews. So, uh, and then underneath that was the actual joists for the floor. So um, I took those joy the, the first joists out and all the flooring and uh, put, um, put, the, put radiant floor heating in. So there's pecs throughout the whole floor and then put this, the, reused the wood that, um, that I pulled up. Which was a which was a crazy monster job because it was um, it all had to be cleaned up and um, you know there was like a grout material in between where the cracks were so anyway <clears throat> that was a big job and uh, but I got it all back down and it's and the reason I wanted to do that is because it's super nice wood and it's all straight grain um, mill cut no knots or anything so. Um, I was lucky that I had enough after tearing the old stuff up to reuse it. And uh, what else have we done? You maybe? moved the chimes. The chimes were over, were over there. there. That's right. And, and you then built I, the steps. Yep, I built those steps and, and these ones here uh, because the floor has dropped. Uh, but um, I took all the um, pews apart and uh, I used the material to build these stairs uh, and a lot of what you see on this loft here. I put the loft up, 600 square foot loft, and um, uh, just to break, break up the, the floor plan a little bit. Uh, and um, yeah, so uh, the stairs, I want to take a closer look at the stairs. Uh, this, this material was the seat for the stairs which is um, elm, uh, laminated elm. So there's, uh, you know, these are all one inch strips so they could get this curb in there. All the pews were curved around um, the, uh, the, the sanctuary. So this was the curb that was on them. And I, re I reused that and put that into the stairs. So there's a you know, slight a subtle curb on there. And then this was the seat backs, which was an oak plywood that they'd used. Uh, and if, uh, if you want to take a look at the, the, these pews right here. These pews I built, they're going to go into this corner over here, and that's going to be uh, like a breakfast nook. But uh, you can see here where the, the seats were um, that I used for the stair treads, and then the risers were with this material here. And then uh, as far as the pew ends go, I used a lot of the pew ends on this columns. <clears throat> There's four on each one of the columns. And then this is what I'm working on now is the, um, the railing, and that's going to be the, the newel posts uh, for the, the railing. Our, uh, each one of those is two, basically two of the um, uh, pew ends uh, put together. So I like to re try to reuse as much material as possible in the church. One for costs, but uh, you know, two. I think it should stay with the church, and then also, I guess, three would be that um, uh, you know, it's nice material. It's oak, you know, really, really nice solid oak. So, um, so last year was the kitchen, and um, this also has radiant floor heating underneath it, um, and then we put the tile down on top of it. Uh, cherry um, cabinets, so. I uh, learned how to make cabinets and mm -hmm. uh, put all this, put, bought all the raw cherry and, and put these together. It still needs some hardware for it, but for the most part, they're done. And then um, birch, birch plywood from the inside. But so I'm pretty happy on the way those turned out. They uh, it was a lot of work, and uh, but I think it'll be. Nice in the long run. The uh, island. This the we used quartz for the for the um, countertops. And um, what else? 
This is going to be like the mudroom uh, pantry. And um, electrical, this is going to be the dining room over here. Uh, so we'll, I've been putting in some of the electrics. We'll have three lights that hang down over this um, big dining room table. And then I did all, I'm going to have all this recessed lighting in here for uh, the kitchen because it's underneath here and it's kind of a, a darker area. There's only the one window. I put in a bunch of these, so there's like six, 16 or something, uh, isn't there? Yeah, well, there's yeah. four by one, two, three, yeah, four by four, 16. That's, uh, there should be plenty of lighting. Do we want to go up to the loft or um, do we want to go into the bedroom? Both, here? but okay, yeah. We'll do the bedroom. This is going to be the bedroom, or is going to be the bedroom. And um, this is a walk in closet. I didn't go all the way up because I wanted to. Um, not, you know, do anything with the ceiling, and I thought it'd be nicer if it was just to open. So uh, this will be the walk-in closet. I'm excited about the walk-in closet. And then we'll probably have the bed, you know, right here underneath this uh, windows, and um, you know, tables. Whatnot. I rebuilt these rolling uh, doors. Because they were <laughs> but, uh, the spring was uh, damaged on a lot of them, so that had to be rebuilt. But, and this to... room has, can I walk on this? Yeah. This you... is going to be the bedroom, uh, bathroom, master bath. Um, and this has got the radiant floor heating. You can see where I've marked on here so I don't uh, go drilling any holes and uh, do the radiant floor heating. We'll have a shower here. And um, basically, basically it's gonna be a shower here and then um, like a claw foot tub here and then toilet in the corner there. And then um, here's gonna be a we're converting the desk into the vanity, so there's going to be the, the vanities right here. Yeah. Not really a lot to see up here, but uh, it's an interesting perspective. Probably just use this space as a like a library. Um, probably have like a bookshelves or, or something back here. And, uh, this is where the chimes used to hang. Was in this opening. Right. The chimes that we moved over there. Which I'm going to try to make into a doorbell if I can figure out how to make the like an Arduino chip or something that can play. Uh, you know, play a little tune. And then in here, I uh, can put in a um, uh, attic because this is one of my favorite places up here. Is I find it <laughs> really amazing. Um, give me the phone, and I'll take up. I'll go up here with it. We can take a look around. I like it because there's these humongous wooden trusses, like uh, bridge trusses, that um, that was that's what's holding this whole ceiling up such a huge span of ceiling but you can see um, uh, the truss right here then these these bars um, are part of the truss but uh, anyway I think it's pretty cool and there's a huge bat colony up here but thankfully they're all sleeping right now thanks for tuning in on our update Hopefully the next one won't be so far apart. And, um, yeah. But, uh, what are your plans this year? Plans this year? Okay, so I think that I'm going to um, finish this railing up on the loft. And uh, 
then also for you know, going down the stairwell or down the stairs and building the newel posts because there's going to be you know like 20 newel posts because there's going to be newel posts in between the bigger ones or the, for the viewings and then uh, patching up all these um, holes there's a lot of holes from the old heating system and these holes over here too yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna see about patching those up okay uh, and um i have to grout the kitchen and i need to do finish up on some of the trim work in the kitchen doing the backsplash get the uh breakfast breakfast nook. nook in there and kind of finish that up there's some plaster work to do there and uh probably work on this this door I'll finish that doorway it's going to be a double door maybe like a french french door there mm. and then, then the bathroom um is a priority but with that is you know there's plumbing issues so because of the brick walls we have you know the venting for the for the plumbing is is um, a challenge but um i got a plan so i think we're all right as far as that goes so we'll work on the plumbing uh, for the kitchen and the bathroom and then get the get the shower put together and the bathroom put together and tiled and, and then whatever else comes up so it's a lot of small jobs going to be this year um i say small but uh you know everything's big here but, yeah <laughs> anyway, thanks again, guys. Hey, bye. No, just kidding. We've had the church for a long time. Here's an update uh, of our start over. Uh, uh, Cut that out. Of it. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>